everyone. So I've just finished putting rear curtains in my Mercedes Vito camper van and they're from Van X. So if you want to know how I did it, then just keep on watching. So the rear window comes with two curtain tracks and the top one has two grooves and the bottom just has the one. So after holding it up against my window, I marked where I wanted to cut it, but I gave myself probably about 10 centimeter allowance just to play with in case I messed things up. I just think it's better to be safe than sorry. And I used one of my favorite hacksaws from Screwfix. And I found it really easy to cut through the metal even though it's very sturdy. It's quite hard to bend. So once I cut that down, I held it against the window again and found I needed to trim a little bit more off. I'd just rather do it bit by bit. So once I got it the right length, I just marked out where I wanted to screw through the track so I could create some pilot holes. And once I've done that, I held the track at the top of the window again and drilled through that pilot hole. I found it easy to drill in parts rather than all in one go. The most reliable drill bit I found for the job was an Herb Hour 2.5mm and, and they come in packs of three. So once I'd created my holes, I just screwed it into place with whatever came in the pack. So once it was all fixed to the top of the window, I just threaded through all of the curtains and I made sure the grey poppers were facing outwards so I could attach them later on to the wall. And once I put the curtains up, I noticed that it was such a snug fit that I hadn't left room for any of the end caps. So I had to trim a little bit more off. And then by the time I came to the end caps, I found that I needed to pry them slightly open with the prongs on a hammer because they were just so tight. And then I cut down the bottom of the rail to the length I wanted and then start slotting the bottom part of the curtains into the bottom pole. And that way I could let it hang naturally and figure out where it was best to screw it, which worked out about five centimeters below the top of the rear door panel. So I measured that all the way along the cross and just screwed dead center so I could measure it out all the way along and make sure it was central on the door. And this section was much easier to screw through because I was just screwing through the metal track and the wooden panel that's just got carpet on it. And then it was time to put the poppers on. So I had to drill some pilot holes again with the same drill bit. Now I suppose this is really down to personal preference but I prefer to have it facing me rather than inwards because I really didn't like the idea of any sunlight getting in, especially if we want to lie in in the morning. And when we're wild camping, we tend to wake up with a natural daylight and it's not always what you need. And the poppers just attached with a screw like the rest of the tracks. And then you can just clip them into place and then I just attached the tie backs. And that was it. So hopefully that's giving you an idea of how to install them in a Mercedes Vito. They do do similar ones as well for other camper vans, but it is the Mercedes Vito that I've really struggled for. So I had to do a lot of research. And I know a lot of you that I've spoken to in Mercedes Facebook groups suggested this company and it is really good quality. So if you wanna follow my journey, then feel free to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.